Tempo. Hello my Leo friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be your in-between reading for the first week of November. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's going on. So we're starting with a card of something you've not been through yet or maybe you're somewhere along this journey. <clears throat> um, the big cards, these ones, are checkpoints the Divine brings in for you to really think and to move forward with um, and I will be pulling a card for what crosses that energy as to why you're not uh, feeling as the card says you should or whatever <laughs> the nine of fire don't give up protect that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself The night of water, falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. The nine of cups, beautiful. What's well, nothing to shake a stick at, my friends? So don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. So why wouldn't you be having courage to be believing in yourself? Why wouldn't you? What's crossing this having courage and believing in yourself? Why do you feel like you want to give up? So it could have something to do with a Scorpio or you feel like secrets are being hidden and they need to be transformed. Things need to be transformed. Wondering perhaps if you should be single rather than be with somebody. Perhaps you're thinking about getting in a relationship, but you wanted to wait until certain things happened, and you don't feel that they're going to happen. There's, it's been a bloody battle regardless here. What's crossing you could be uh, family situations, family opinions, family views. In Scorpio season, I feel like you're just going to want to throw your swords down on the ground and be done with it. Say, I've had enough. Can't take it anymore. Passionate messages about just that. About transformation change they're asking you not to give up but you had to think i might rather be single here that's what's crossing you could be passionate messages sending passionate messages to an aquarius libra gemini about wanting it to end perhaps about wanting to put an end to something Uh, it could be the Aquarius Libra Gemini has got some addictions or something that have just uh, taken their toll on you. They, they've got something that they feel like they can't let go of. They feel chained to it in some sort of way. Definitely, there's your guys' energy. The Sun card coming out loud and proud. Happiest card in the deck. This could be something to do with a child situation as well so we have this, this checkpoint is the knight of cups emotional romantic enthusiastic contemplated and falling in love or wedding proposals the need to balance your emotions invitation to a social event do you feel like you could want to cut things out with the capricorn in some way shape or form that has to do with your home stability falling in love romance emotional enthusiastic contemplative 
perhaps you'd like to bring about in a tower moment. Something needs to be torn down because we have a golden crown that's been trying to go on top of this square tower. So when the tower falls, it's because there's cracks in the foundation that no longer serve it. So somebody, possibly a, a king of swords energy, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could be falling in love and want to change things up, but it's going to be an absolute tower moment for the family. Why is it a tower moment? Well, there will be a lot of communication about it and apologies made. It's going to surprise a lot of people. It's the Wheel of Fortune spinning. I think there's been some toxicity here and there's been an ending in circumstances, possibly in a very, in a family type setting. There will be brought, healing brought, a very happy outcome and healing will be brought to the situation. My Leo friends. Then we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this could just be somebody who is uh, very much doesn't say his emotions out loud, up front, close and personal, keeps them to himself. What's about this King of Cups who could be a Scorpio? What's about this King of Cups? Conflicted. So yeah, there's a lot of happiness and a lot of conflict amongst the whole scenario. And it truly is a wish granted. Your wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life. So what's crossing you from this wish granted? Holding on tight to the way things used to be. Holding on tighter. Fearing that you will be treated in a way that's not how you should be treated. You want to walk away from emotional turmoil, and I think you wonder if this will cause more emotional turmoil. we got Aquarius here on the board, too. Interesting. Let's get some advice from the angels, shall we? Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. <laughs> Look at that. So on this side, communication and an ending. It's been a bloody battle. Ending that communication and new love coming in for somebody in your world in your family or something the timing is right and then on this side the timing to involve family or to have a tower moment or to walk away from emotional turmoil to deal with the addictions no conditions aren't favorable right now wait or look into other options and ask the angels to guide and comfort you so the timing is right for things to start but the timing's not right for things to move at the speed that you want them to yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being peace of mind and spiritual growth let's get some clarifiers on this nine of cups here broken heartedness holding on too tight your wish comes true so being broken hearted and holding on too tight to the lovers in some way, shape, or form is stopping a wish. There's just so much confusion. Oh, my Leo friends, there's so much confusion here. You feel brokenhearted about how a lover has treated you, even though you're holding on tight because you love them. There's so much confusion about which way to move forward. What is this Nine of Cups about? Where's, where is this Nine of Wish granted from? What's the wish granted? 
the truth about someone coming in. Oh, is this a third party scenario? Someone coming in on a horse very passionately and the truth in some way sets you, sets you free leaving helping you leave rough waters and heading to calm waters so it's about someone speaking a truth about something that's going on behind the scenes you could be dealing with a capricorn you could be dealing with scorpio aquarius libra gemini yeah take it as it resonates or in virgo i'll talk to you again soon Blessings.